And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio in our Extreme Production Series. Uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. I am going to add four more inputs into this purple setup here for red circuits. Because I finished pushing modules and all that kind of stuff into reds, and we have ample amounts of reds coming in now. So now I want to make sure we're actually using those. So I cut off blues so they actually stop. Because if I put one of these against that, um, it's just, it's gonna try to use it and I, I really don't wanna do that. So we're gonna let them process through all of the all of the blues that they have. Okay, those are done, those are done, and these are almost done. There we go. So now we're going to add another set. One, two, three, four. So these are all going to go in. So we don't want. So now that those arrows are right, now we can make this work. So this one's going to be here, and this one's going to be way out here. Okay, so I want one here there oh this one's way out here like that okay so that's four four more belts of red coming down so we're gonna load all of these up A lot of belt, but that's okay. Now we want those out there, those out there, and I can do the little corner magic here, like so. And now we have yet even more reds being able to load in here so you can see it's loading you know loaded over a thousand reds but it's gonna it's gonna chew through those pretty fast and I just want to wait for the bots to sort of make their way back up here so one of the reasons I wanted to maximize blues coming in because now that we're at the end point of the whole system now we can backtrack and optimize the setup all the way through. Slowly but surely. Okay, here comes the belt. Boink. There we go. So once this stuff is run, I can connect those blues back up again. There we go. And these should. There's the reds, and there's more reds. All right. So, reds are coming down again. And the yeah, they're they're not going to load because these are these are stopped, but uh, here we go with the blues again. So, as long as we're keeping a net gain here, we're doing good and we have actually a net loss, believe it or not. Uh, on our on our reds ever so slightly but look at the blues that we're loading in here isn't that glorious um, so just make sure that none of these are hitched so let's look at our production again uh, okay we're at 5.6 thousand per minute now on uh, purple so we basically doubled doubled our throughput um, and now we are once again backlogging on blues we have so many blue circuits now it's beautiful I remember those are those are the always the toughest thing when you start a game like oh blue circuits but we're able to make them in large numbers now okay so purples cruising there's gonna be 180,000 purples when this is finally done 
or no, 160,000, 160,000 purples. So we have ample amounts of materials now. We could actually create a train that essentially loads all the goodies, all the things that we want, loads them up. Um, and again, we are not using productivity modules at all for our green circuits, and they are... I don't think we're even close to tapping what we could because we we have tons and tons of green circuits here we're not able to offload them fast enough reds are doing great oh here comes some more plastic that's good don't want to run out of that and Oh, yeah, we are hurting a little bit when it comes to plastic. As you can see, this warehouse completely ran out. That's not good. There's really no easy way to load that in. I could load it here, supplement that, but I'm not sure if that's worth it. We have two trains running. How's our how's our plastic supply doing? Ooh, yeah, these we still need to go down and tweak with that. Let's see if we can get into this train before it takes off. There we go. You don't want to get too close because it'll run you over and kill you. Don't want to do too far because then you can't catch it. Let's see how fast are we going? 370 kilometers, 450, 496 kilometers an hour. That's not bad. I love the rocket fuel. Gots to love the rocket fuel. Buzz right over the coal. Gotta wait till we stop to jump out, because it's also pretty quick death. Okay, so the big issue is the plastic. Uh, I don't know if we are able to load it fast enough. I think we have a net loss on said plastic, so I would like... We're going to take all the supply away, and we're going to redo the supply lines. Let all those filter out. Okay. So now, let's uh, throw those in there because I don't want them. Uh, now we can really maximize... Uh, how much we're going to push in here, but that's going to dramatically increase the number of belt we're running. Uh, so I think we have four of these, we have four of these, so we're going to have four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. We're going to have four going into each one of these. There we go. As you can see, the updates per second really hits. Uh, we are at one of those stages in the game where, uh, yeah, the lag the lag is real. Okay, so I'm gonna just clear away a little bit of the belt and stuff, so we can redo it. Obviously, we're gonna reuse the belt. Uh, yeah, something kickstarted a lot of updates. I'm guessing. Ooh, yeah, look at reds. Drained out pretty fast. But this is almost full. This will hold, what, 80,000? No, 160,000. Yeah, 160,000. That's not even half full yet. That's going to take a lot of reds. Anyway, where was I? 
Obviously, all of our construction bots are probably up above. Um, so we're going to now take out using these things. No, see, I don't want to double click that. Okay, so we have four coming out here. Four coming out here. Four coming out here. And four coming out here. Okay, so by order of operation. So those four there. Those four there. Two, three, four. Those four there, and then we gotta kind of give this a little bit of room. So there, 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 and there. those four right there all right now now that we have the basic setup I can introduce a little bit of automation here and then let's come out here right up to the edge Okay. Oh, that actually built right up. Awesome. Okay, so here and here. Uh, might as well uh, load those up like that. Those load up right there. So let's bring these two closer just using less belt on my own. And I've actually got uh, corners. Um, so I've got two different sets of these. I got one here and one here. Uh, I think this will work right there, 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 there. And then I can cancel the inner corners. That'll speed that up quite a bit. Yay. Okay, so we want one going there, one going there, that one there, and that one there. I'm going to cut these off. Oh, we've already got one cruising. So, might as well. Okay. Okay. And any gaps, anything in there, that's fine. I don't mind. I just want these to, you know, be efficient. Okay, and then up, up, up. Just like so. There we go. Now, now we are loading some plastic. That is what I'm talking about right there. Um, so now, ooh, coal might be an issue. Um, hmm. I might need to supplement some coal. That is a lot. Look at all that plastic. Wow, what is our production of plastic right now? Uh, plastic? No, that's knit and all. Uh, where's plastic at? Plastic. 51, 52,000 per minute of plastic. That's insane. Now, 
And that's just with two productivity modules. Only 80% productivity. And I told everybody that uh, I was going to try not to use too many productivity modules. Yeah, we need to make sure we have enough coal down here. Uh, so we might need to supplement coal. So let's do just that. Uh, I need at least four setups to supplement coal. So uh, one. Two, three, four. Okay, so now we have extra coal. Whoa, do you see that train go by? That is just death waiting to happen if you're not careful. Okay, so we need to bring coal, and I'm thinking right in here, let's give ourselves a little room, like right up, right up here. So we have uh, four lines coming up. It's like so. Zip down here. I'm gonna build that out there. So we're gonna underground. Oh man, yeah. Don't don't be standing on the tracks. That's for darn sure. Standing on these tracks with these rocket fueled, rocket fueled trains uh, is just death waiting to happen. Okay, so coal is on the way. Beautiful. Oh, I love bots. Oh, I love them. Construction bots are my favorite friends. Second favorite friends are the machines that actually build the materials that the bots deliver. That's nice. Okay, so now we have coal. Uh, let's supplement it. First of all, we're going to go midway through, and we're going to supplement coal right here. Okay, and then we're going to have this guy go up to here, this guy go up to here, this guy go up to here. That's a lovely underground belt. Okay, so you're going to go out to there, you're going to go out to there. There we go. Now, all the belts should basically be full. Yeah, we'll have a little gaps here and there, and that's very little we can do about that uh, unless we just are too a little, a little too protective um, but yeah now we are maximizing how many resources we're pushing through here i don't know if i actually have a backup coal uh, a backup amount of coal like one of these big deposits like this i don't know if i have a backup one of those um ooh, look at the size of that Good Lord. Uh, okay, so so plastic has been overhauled. All is well, and uh, I think yeah. See, these are actually not not producing as much as I thought they would. Um. 
this one's not even working. So one of the things I want to try, let's uh, let's try boosting these babies a little bit. Oh, there we go. Now we're going back up again. Now, this, no, see this? Still working, still working. Uh, petroleum gas is the only thing. That's, that's the important thing. If any of these other two were, were more than, more than zero, uh, then I would know that we're not prepared. So, that worked, and that brings us a net gain of petroleum gas, and these are, these are close to running out, so I want to make sure. Uh, make sure these are set. There we go. Yeah, this one's getting a little low over here. Ten, eight, nine. Okay, we are good to go. Oh, look how fast that's going up. Since, yeah, that one, that uh, warehouse filled up, so good times. All right. Well, I'm glad I checked that. I'm glad I checked the gas levels. That could have been, could have been bad. Oh, the, up. oh yeah, we are lagging the game pretty, pretty hardcore here. tell because I'm not walking very fast but that's okay because this is extreme production and now we are doing it extremely extremely fast so sulfuric acid I think is right and good to go and this is the only mining drill that still has three million that I can pull now, once the sulfur runs out, we're going to have to really figure out what to do about that. Ooh, how is our power doing? All this stuff that we're doing? Oh, man. Uh, roughly 600 and, what is it, 620, 30 or 40 megawatts. Not too bad. Oh, yeah, we were way up. Look at that. We were way, way higher with mining drills. Yep, look at that. So once those mining drills hit, all right, so what should we do with all those circuits? Well, I don't know. I just wanted to make them. I bet you they're full by now. I bet your purple is full by now. Oh, let's cross it quick. Oh, man, look at the forest up here. Ooh, somebody must have just picked up. Yep. <laughs> when one of these trains comes to load up copper or iron or both, um, our game, game simulation speed drops because of all the belts. Cause there's a good, I don't know, 6,000 belt just in one of those copper loading systems. Pretty substantial amount of belt. Let's get through here. All right. How are we doing here? Looks not too bad. Uh, we have net gain on blues purples just about full reds looks like reds have actually look at that there is a slight net gain amazingly enough there's a slight net gain of reds and they're all running look at that cascade of red circuits it's beautiful 
just about maximizing the belt individually going in there. Um, so yeah, with those two productivity modules, it's a, it's a good balance. It's a good balance between production and speed. And we are out of plastic completely up here. That is never a good sign. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do about that, if anything. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do, and that's why that's why this is lowered a little bit because, yeah, those things drop off quite a lot of plastic. But by the time it leaves, it's emptied out, and here comes another bit of plastic. So there's little gaps in between the service. I might want to do three trains actually. Now that we've now that we've ramped up plastic uh, quite a bit. Look at the pollution down here. Good lord! I need to defend a little bit of this area. Just in case. Just in case. I need these to be replaced with Mark Fives. Uh, let's put these in here. Just in case the biters decide to get frisky, uh, we will be ready for them. All right. Well, plastic has been overhauled. We are doing pretty good. Uh, but that'll have to do it for this episode. So hit that like button if you are enjoying the series. Uh, but thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.